So we're talking about espresso today. And with espresso, there's three aspects. There's the grind size, the water, and the pressure. With a grind size, usually you'll buy your coffee already ground, or if you're doing it at home, you want to make sure that it's fairly fine. You know, looks like almost like sand, maybe even a little bit finer. Um, for each of the processes I'm going to show you, it's a little bit different. So the grind size is, is going to change. Next thing is the water. If you're not going to drink the water the way that it is, you're not going to want to drink the coffee. You know, so if you're drinking bottled water at home, go ahead and use bottled water for your coffee. And the temperature of the water is also important. If you're using Celsius, you want it at 93 degrees, you know, right before boiling. And if you're not using Celsius, you can go ahead and set it to 200 and give your, your um, water boiler a few swirls to just get rid of a little bit of that temperature so you're just under 200. The third aspect is the pressure. So for each of these different methods, I'm going to be adding pressure in a slightly different way. For the first method, we're going to ahead and be using a manual espresso machine. You know, it's not a machine, it's a maker. It's an espresso maker. And the way that we do this is we grind the coffee. For this method, we're going to go really fine, you know, very, you know, compact. Once you push it down, when we call what we call tamping the coffee, it's going to go together and make a really tight puck, you know. A disc of coffee. Then I go ahead and put a little um, water distributor on top. You won't see it in the video. But from there, you pour the water directly on top of the coffee, attach it to the portafilter, which is the whole machine, and you manually push the pressure into the espresso puck, pulling a shot. As you can see in the video, there's some squirting going on. That's called channeling, where the puck wasn't tamped quite evenly enough, and there's little channels in the puck where water sprays out. Um, this results in a slightly bitter coffee, but right now there's an issue with my water distributor, um, so it's a little bit uneven. It's totally normal for me. The next way we're going to be making coffee is with a mocha pot. So... What, you know, same things apply with the water. The grind size is a little bit coarser. You know, you get like maybe the size of kosher, kosher salt is more, um, you know, comparable to the grind size. But overall, you know, you probably can just buy already ground coffee at the store or if you go to a local coffee shop, which I highly recommend, you can go ahead and ask them to grind it for a mocha pot and they can go ahead and hook you up with the perfect grind size. So with this method, um, my machine's a little bit different as you'll see. It's, you know, you normally would just fill it up directly as I show you. Um, you wanna make sure that the water is below the pressure valve. This is for safety reasons. The pressure valve is incredibly important to make sure you don't have a grenade basically because, you know, once the pressure gets up and there's no release, Chances are, you know, something bad might happen. But with this, you want, you know, for my machine, in the top of the the attachment, I don't know what you call that, the the brew chamber, um, there's a valve, which you'll see, which is there to add more pressure, which we kind of talked about is very important for espresso. And there's an H2O, I don't know if you can see it, but the small H2O, sign um it's like you know maybe two inches tall three inches tall and you fill the water in the top part of the of the machine and you add it to the bottom part this ensures that the pressure valve is is not covered and you have the right amount of water um so from there you know you go ahead and put it down put the the um group basket into the machine and you screw the water on the top on um, you don't want to press the coffee down because that will like result in a much more bitter coffee and 
You also can use boiling water to reduce the amount of time that the coffee gets heated up. And this will result in a sweeter brew. I didn't do that because I was lazy. But just a heads up, if you ever want to try this out, I highly recommend it. Um, of course, since my machine is a little bit different, you can see me using a spoon to kind of press up on the pressure valve just to release the coffee because I wanted to make sure I got a good shot of the coffee coming out. So for the third way that we're making espresso, we're going to be using a espresso machine, if you can call it that. It's a very, I got this from a neighbor who was just giving it away. So I just snatched it up and it turned out to be a really good machine. You know, it's made by Breville, a very well-known company. And, you know, the way that I do this is same deal. Coffee in, you know, I made it the same grind size as the first machine, the first maker I showed you. And I tried tamping it down with my fingers. You know, obviously that's not good, but because it's not going to be even. But I couldn't find the tamper, and it's the first time I've actually used this machine for brewing coffee because I always use it for the steam wand for making cappuccinos. Um, so with this machine, you got to make sure there's water inside, you know, same rules apply for the water. Um, and just press the button, try to shoot for 20, 25 seconds with one of these machines. You know, of course the actual brew time for espresso is between you know, 25 and 28 seconds is where you want to shoot for. But for this, you know, we kind of make exceptions. You know, we aren't going to expect a perfect brew on a $300 espresso machine when the professional ones are over 3000 or even 8000 for what you'd probably see in most coffee shops. So, you know, once you brewed it, you can see there's a beautiful creme on top. Um, the creme is just that cream. And that's really important for latte art. And it's also a good sign of a well-extracted espresso.